Come on. Get in here. Get get in here. Look at him fight. Arr, arr. So there you go, guys. Welcome home. Yeah. Watch this. Here you go. Joey Slam. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another Slay Venture, and today we're gonna go ahead and be messing around with this box that I went ahead and received. Well, this is a styrofoam, but one morning I heard a knock and I came downstairs running and then I look and I open the door and I don't see anything around at all. And look, there was a box right there. And I moved it inside because it did say Trinity's Tropical Fish. And I'm like, bro, I didn't order any fish. And I opened this and look, there's freaking red crayfish babies in here. Hold on, look at that. Red crayfish babies, red ones. Whoa, open these water. Hey, come on, buddy. There's red ones. I don't know if you guys can really see. Yeah, there's, there's red ones. That, that bag's leaking. So I was like, dude, who the heck dropped off these crayfish at my door? So I went ahead and I started thinking. I was thinking and thinking and thinking. And the only person to ever produce red crayfish to actually document it was Wild World of Farley. And then I looked and he posted a video that he actually pranked me. And I had no idea what was going on. So Slayers, now we are proud owners of beautiful red baby crayfish and we can raise these puppies up. Now, I have the perfect place to go ahead and put these baby crayfish. But first, why don't we go ahead and feed everybody in here. All right, Slayers, so here we have some beautiful cut up tilapia. Let's go ahead and feed our fish. I wanna go ahead and start off with Megamind. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Come over here. Oh, yeah, how you doing up top? Look at him, oh, oh, he does not get tilapia. He actually gets this beautiful Grand Sumo flower horn mix. Look at that flower horn mix. Let me go ahead and open that up for you. Hold on one second, come on this side. Take your pellets. Oh, oh, what a cool little animal. I love you, Mega Mind. You're the coolest. Now, mo now moving forward, here we have our beautiful tank, the 150 gallon acrylic. Now we have Kylie. And yes, guys, I took your vote into consideration and we are changing these names right here. So, meet Gucci, meet Louie, and meet Prada. So it's Prada, Gucci, and Louie, and we have Kylie. And Kylie loves all of her designer wear, that is right. So there's Kylie, Prada, Gucci. Gucci's over here. Gucci. And we have Louie. All right, they're really hungry, so let's go ahead and feed them. You ready? You ready? Come up. Come up. Oh, I dropped it in there. Oh, vicious. Vicious, vicious, vicious. Oh, they're hungry. All right, all right, all right, all right. I just dropped all the pieces. Relax. Come over here. Eat up. Oh, Gucci's a monster. Gucci, Gucci. There comes Louie. Come on, Prada, eat up. Ooh, Prada's my biggest eater in this tank. That one's a monster. Oh yeah, come on, eat the one in the back. Gone. So let's not forget that we must feed the man, the myth, the legend. Ninja! There you go, look at him. Come, 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 come. Oh, he's sweet. You hungry? Come over here. Come over here, come on. Oh, thanks. I wasn't even ready for that eat. Now that we're the slayers. Here, have another one. You want another piece? One other piece, here you go. Oh, that's cool from above. Let me go ahead and get like a little underwater shot real quick. Grab some more food and walk around this way. See if I can attract them over here. Here's my hand. Ninja, oh, Ninja, over here, buddy. Over here, there you go, there you go. Right here, nice. One more, oh, I dropped it. Grab it, I'm gonna have to pick that up. Well. Slayers, I hope you enjoy those eats. Let's go ahead and move those crayfish into their new home. All right, Slayers, so we made it back to my parents' place and look, they have replaced my entire room. My room no longer exists. And I used my sister's room to go ahead into a gym. That was really quick. And we have this tank that's been here for ages. Oh yeah, it's one of our white crayfish babies that have lasted so long and is doing good and have just the perfect place for her, believe it or not. Let's see if there's anyone else in there. Oh, there's a couple babies, hello. So I think this is gonna be the perfect place to go ahead and house our brand new red baby crayfish. Excuse the mess, like I said, they are remodeling the place. Anyways, look at that. This guy is not looking so good. Ooh, I might leave him with the red ones. Yeah, I might leave him with the red ones when we cross breed. But this white one's gonna have to go because that white one can be up on everybody and yeah. So let's go ahead and get these guys acclimated right now. Better look there. Like orange is red. That's pretty freaking cool. Let me see this one right here. 
red as well. Me in the background. Hey guys. Oh. Oh. Sorry, buddy. So sorry. You okay? You good? And last but not least, six. So we have six beautiful red baby crayfish that will be going into their brand new aquarium. And hopefully they grow up and we'll figure something else. Maybe breed them in the future. I'm not sure about what our plans are because this was a prank from Wow or the Farley. So we appreciate you. But now we got to go ahead and raise these guys. And I don't mind doing it because I've done it several, several times. So, yeah, let's go ahead and acclimate them right now. And then we're going to be taking out that guy. Look at this one. Hey, come on. Get in here. Get, get in here. We don't have all day. Here you go. Come on. Get in there. Perfect. Sweet, nice and safe. I'm gonna just put her over here. Come on, crayfish. There you go. You okay? Let's look at her. This is definitely a her, based on the claws and the genitalia. Yep, that is a beautiful female white crayfish, which is really cool because it's like black and white hybrid type of deal. Whoa, have just the perfect place for you. So we're gonna put you here. Well, we go ahead and acclimate your new brothers and sisters. So I went ahead and put them inside the sink right now. And they're already pooping and doing what they do best. Poop. But they're also cleaners. Now we can go ahead and examine them better. Take a moment and enjoy that for a second. That is so freaking awesome. Alrighty. So again, shout out to Wild Wild Farley for hooking it up. Alright, let's go ahead and check out these sexes right now. Let's see what there is to see that looks like a female. Should I just flip you over? Turn around around let me just check that is a female as well let's check on this one now come on that I'm trying to show you guys because I can already see it that one looks like a female as well do we have only females here based on the claws and everything that's what it seems like they're only females all of them maybe this guy's a male maybe this one come on We'll check real quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Flair's known good all day. Female. So they're all females. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna check another one. I was hoping to have at least one male. Maybe in the future. Yeah, they're all females. All right, well, we do have that blue crayfish at the house, so we can probably try to crossbreed with them when they're bigger, just like about this size. This one looks like a perfect mate for the blue one. We also still have snow or whatever we whatever we end up naming the other one that we have at the house. So now I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine at the house, plus these 10, 11. So we have a good amount of crayfish right now to take care of, which is more than enough. So they're acclimated, they're happy, they're good to go because obviously I had them acclimated in here. So come on. Time to add you to your new home. Enjoy, enjoy. Wee! Look at him. What? How dope. They look so awesome on this substrate. Oh yeah. And there's plenty of hiding spaces. I'm gonna add another PVC pipe here. It's not the most decorated tank, but it is a very clean tank nonetheless. And plus with the shrimp cuisine, they always eat up. Sweet. Let's go ahead and add the rest. Oh, look at that. Look at them fight. Arr, 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 arr. All right, that's enough of that. We're gonna go ahead and add the remainder of these. Oh yeah, perfect. Guys, comment below how many red crayfish Wild World of Farley went ahead and gifted us. Well, pranked us with really, but it's not really a prank. It's like a really nice gift. Man, it's gonna take me a while before I get all these. Hold on one second. So there you go, guys. Welcome home. Yeah, they look so good. That's so sweet. They look great. Turn around, buddy. It's a party. Let me put on the lid. There you go. Making all that noise. Oh yeah, dude. They look absolutely amazing in there. They love life. Putting in little holes and crevices. Oh, we got white ones over here too. So it's a mix. It's a party in this. Baby party. Perfect. 15 gallon. Enough room until they start getting bigger. And then I'll go ahead and move them to a brand new home. Just like I will with this one. All right, Slayer. So we're back at the Slay Pad. And here we have our beautiful new member. Uh, I don't know what we should name this one. We might call this one Ice. And we have the one upstairs that we call Snow. So check it out, guys. You guys have been wondering where Slam has been. Slam has been here the whole time. Watch this. Here you go. Oh! 
He's ready to eat. So guys, comment below what should we feed him in the future. The faster you guys comment, the faster I'll go ahead and post that video of us feeding our brand new bass. Slam, look at him. He's so good, so healthy. I don't have a spare tank laying around, so I was thinking, why don't we go ahead and put snow right here in our sump, right? There's nothing here in the sump at all besides poop, biological filtration, and chemical filtration. So I really think it's gonna be perfect so if there's any leftover poop that comes from Slam in the future feedings, she'll go ahead and get some food. But these guys are cleaners. These guys are known as cleaners. Our little crayfish lobsters here. Whoa. That was cool. You want, you want to eat this? No, we're not gonna feed this. Oh, chill, chill. Oh, dude, I can't wait to feed him. Slayers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, comment below what you think we should feed our pet bass lamb. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next adventure. Booyah.